Hi, I'm Tony Sycamore, Senior Market Analyst at IG in Australia. After a choppy opening three weeks of 2024, US equity markets showed their hand on Friday night, with the S&P 500 surging above its January 2022 48.18 bull market high. Now, that move was precisely two years in the making and involved the 28% pullback in between. But the push to new highs, as we know, into the end of last year was once again supported by the tech sector. This week, the drivers of US equity markets will be earnings reports for some of the tech giants, including Tesla, Netflix, and Intel Corp. In terms of the economic data as well, this week it will be important. We have the flash PMIs for January, the quarter four advanced GDP data. And of course, the Fed's preferred measure of inflation, which is the core PCE price index for December. Let's take a look at the chart of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ to see where they are as they start the new week. This is the chart of the S&P 500, the weekly chart. And what I want to draw your attention to here is that we have, obviously, as I mentioned, pushed to new highs. You can see that move coming out uh, at the end of last week as it broke above this 48.18 high from January 2020-22. Here's the pullback. That was that 29% pullback, which I mentioned, and then the rebound. Now, the rebound, as we know, uh, was something that we called more recently the, the move from the late October lows there. Uh, we called for a push to new highs. There was a little bit of overshoot here, but once again, uh, it hit that new all-time high above this 46.07 high, which was our, our base case. Uh, and now we're seeing some offshoot towards the top side. Now, I haven't changed my Elliott wave count. I still see this as being a wave five. But the resilience that we saw in those opening few weeks, it was, in hindsight, was consolidation. Uh, and we need to be prepared for some overshoot to the top side, just like we saw it to the downside back here in late October. We also can see that there is some bearish divergence still in place. The RSI didn't make a new high, whereas price did make a new high. Turning to the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ uh, also broke above its uh, December, late December high there, surging up to this 17,317 high. Once again, I see this as being a wave five, but I do need to be mindful, well, we need to be mindful that we could see some overshoot. How far does that overshoot go? Well, it could head up towards 18,000. We just have to pay attention to the price action. Uh, we're seeing some bearish divergence. I haven't changed my neutral view of the markets here. This was a good move for us, and I'm now waiting to see how this plays out. So patience is the key. We remain neutral. We aren't interested in chasing US equity markets at these levels, even though we are mindful that there could be, as we mentioned, just a little bit of overshoot into the next few weeks. Thank you for listening. 